you have the DJI Avada and you're looking to get the best color out of it, well, you've come to the right video. I've struggled in the past with color correction and color grading in my videos but I definitely feel like I've improved and I'm not the best but I do think I found a good solution for the DJI Avada especially if you're flying in low light conditions like sunrise or sunset today I'm going to edit this video in Premiere Pro I'm going to show you how I shoot from D cine like and color grade it into something like this up here. And like I just said, decent like is the best way to go about color grading your Avada footage. The standard color profile looks a little good, but if you want that extra bit of editing dynamic range, well, decent like is gonna be your best bet. With the Avada, it doesn't have D-Log, unfortunately. Let's jump right into Premiere Pro and get this going. On the left, you'll see what the clip is going to look like. And on the right here, you'll see what this looks like straight out of the camera. You could see here, flew at sunset. There's some nice lighting on the trees, but then it's pretty dark in those trees down there on the right. And there's some nice lighting here in front with a nice sunset glow. And we're really going to bring out that sunset in this video. And then some eagles flew right next to my drone. So it was really a cool set of uh, clips in a sequence here. So. I'm gonna start with the color grading on the trees here. So I think this is a good uh, starting point to start color grading. Uh, first of all, if you guys don't have Lumetri, I like to use the Essentials panel on Premiere Pro. And then you just come over here to Lumetri Color. And the first thing we're gonna do is just color correct the video. Now color correction is a lot different than color grading. Color correction is just getting that standard look that you like getting rid of the flat profile and making it a little more contrasty a little more saturated and then we'll, later on we'll color grade with an adjustment layer all right so first thing i'm going to do is just uh mess with the saturation now i found for the avada and decent alike if i set this to 170 increase 70 percent i think that's a pretty good look and then for the contrast i like 50 percent so already we're looking pretty good. It does look a little bit darker now in the shadows. You can see this is pretty black here. So what I'm gonna do is just maybe just raise the black point up just a little bit like that. Increase the shadows and decrease the highlights. Now I think that looks good. This is what we've done so far. This is still dark. When something is dark, it means it's dark and you don't have to try to bring out the shadows and make it look like it's daylight. When it's not it's golden hour and sometimes just the things are in the shadows and you can't see them so that's just the reality of color editing and some people might want to do a little different but already we're looking a lot better i think now you can see maybe this is still a little blown out here so let's really reduce the highlights all the way for this because we're gonna have to get as much out of this as we can if we go back here i think it still looks pretty good with the highlights all the way down so this is before and that's after 
looking pretty good. I'd say this is a relatively good starting point. I would call that color corrected. I think you can upload that as is. I think it looks fine. Um, you know, if you want, you can increase the saturation, you can increase the contrast, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks about as good as it can get. Now we're going to color grade this. What we're going to do is do this on an adjustment layer. So if you want to know how to use your adjustment layers, you go up here to new item and you're going to hit adjustment layer and it should make the adjustment layer the same size as your project file. So now you can just drag that up and you're just going to expand it to cover up the whole clip. If you think maybe you did a little too much, well, you can just reduce the opacity and bring the intensity down of the entire clip. Once again, kind of we'll do this in two parts just to confirm that everything looks good. We'll start here. Make sure the adjustment layer is highlighted. Let's just zoom in a little bit for you. First thing, I'll just go in order here. I'm going to increase the temperature, make it a little bit warmer really emphasize the golden hour i think that looks pretty good and we've already messed with the light we might have to do some adjustments later but for now i think that looks fine for the avada i do like to add just the slightest bit of sharpening just something like that already you can see we've added a really nice warmth to the image but we can increase that even more so what we're going to do is go to color wheels and we can mess with the shadows, midtones, and highlights. So what I like to do is I'll just take the shadows and once again, I'm just gonna move them warm just a tiny bit. I don't wanna overdo the shadows. And for midtones, I'm gonna do a little bit warmer. And for highlights, we're gonna make them pretty warm. And maybe I'll bring the shadows down just a little bit to balance it out. I think that looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, if we fast forward here, I like the color of the grass. That looks more natural, looks more sunsetty, and the sky looks pretty good. There's before and there's after. I'm pretty happy with the sky. One thing, though, is I feel like it's the slightest bit flat. So we can fix that by going to curves and right here at the quarter spot, we're going to bring the darks down just the slightest bit. And up here at the other quarter for the highlights, we will make a nice S curve and bring the highlights up a little bit just to add a little bit of punch. You can see the difference. It makes the blacks a little blacker and the whites a little whiter. We're still looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Now we can go back to basic and I'm just gonna maybe bring the highlights down a little more, shadows up a little more, and I'm just gonna play with the saturation until I think it looks good without being a little too. We went all the way. You can see these oranges have some harsh lines in them. So I'm just going to bring this down until I think those harsh lines are out of the way. I think that looks pretty good. You can see the difference in the basic corrections there. And this is the difference in the adjustment layer. And this is the difference before and after our color grade you can see the slightest bit of green in the trees so the shadows are not totally blacked out and you can see the trees have a nice glow on them from the sun guy looks pretty good it's still got a little blues in it so it's not too warm and we can keep scrolling through here and i'm pretty happy with that guys i think this looks pretty good Right here, you see this white? Unfortunately, that's just one of the downsides of the Avada. If you had more of like a 14-bit dynamic range, $50,000 cinema camera, you could probably bring those highlights down, no problem. But I think it looks good for being a $600 drone, 600 by itself, not including the controller and the goggles. And then we'll come up here to the Eagles. They look good. Shadows look pretty good here. They look like shadows, you know? They are not supposed to have much color in them. They don't have much contrast in them. Shadows are just shadows. And I think that looks pretty good. So you can see shooting in D Cinema like really gives you a somewhat chance to edit some color into your DJI Avada. Let's say for example, the standard color profile gives you maybe 
two staps of light chain. I'd say the center like maybe gives you four, possibly five stops of light change without changing too much. Um, shadows are a little bit easier to recover than highlights. So if you're in a situation where you're like that and it's pretty dark out, but there's a nice glow in the sky. Well, I would expose for the sky a little bit more, maybe blow it out slightly, slightly. And then you could just increase the shadows and get a uh, somewhat good exposure. One more tip for you. Let's say you don't want to do all that color grading, but you won't like that look. Well, I have something for you guys. I'm going to disable that adjustment layer we made and I'm going to add a second Lumetri. If you go to creative, add a look and you hit browse. I made my own DJI Avada warmth. There you go. And that's a little too much. So we could just bring that back a little bit. And just like that, we have a second color grade and that will be free of charge in the description. There is a download link for you guys. If you want that cube file, and make your life just a little bit easier uh pretty basic like i said if it's a little too intense for you you could change the intensity here under creative or if you have the adjustment layer you can go to effects controls and just reduce the opacity to where you think it looks pretty good and that is how you color grade the dji avada you know color grading is one thing but if you crash your drone, you can't find it and you can't color grade anything. So with that being said, if you want more cinematic flights in manual mode with this DJ Avada, click this video right up here. Got a little rate video for you guys for you to check out. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks a lot. See ya.